Hello and welcome. My name is Maud. This is a pre-work morning sequence. The aim of this practice is to awaken body and mind. So we'll move through some movement, mindful movement to lengthen the spine and free the hips, but also using some breath work to sharpen the mind. The standing comfortably in a seat Elevate your hips with a cushion and close your eyes. Take a big breath in. Put up your mouth and exhale out. Use this first breath as a transition. Breathe in. Exhale. Transition to whatever you were doing before to this moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more cycles. Breathing in. I am here. Breathing out. One more, breathe in, invite this affirmation, I am here. And soften as you breathe out. And take your hand, please, to your third eye, so the midbrain, index and middle finger there. We're working the right side of the body and the left hemisphere of the brain, closing your left nostril, inhale by the right, hold at the top, close the right nostril, exhale at left, and close left, inhale right, hold at the top, And exhale out left. Again, inhale right. Hold at the top. Exhale out left. Release your hand, keep the eyes closed. Simply observe what's inhabiting you, what's inside of your mind, heart and body today. Yeah, and then simply letting the eyes open. We'll take the arms out to the side into a cactus shape and feel free to change the legs if it doesn't feel comfortable. So. Softness as you drop your shoulder shoulders down. Lift the ribcage out to the pelvis on the inhale. Twist and turn towards the right as you exhale. Coming back to center, breathe in. Other side, breathe out. Center, inhale. Right, exhale. Center, breathe in. To the left, exhale. And then back to center. Same thing, but just a little bit more dynamic now to awaken the core. Right, left. Right, left. Let the head be soft, neck soft. Do that again. Just for three, two, and one. Wow, beautiful, like that. Release. You can uh, remove the cushion if you had one. And we'll take a square shape here. So the left leg falls first and then your right leg second. Very important here is to have the two sit bones plugged down on your mat. So I like to rock until I find that. And then the feet and the knees are towards the same line here. So often we get like this. But we want to slide the feet outward. Mm. Then raise the fingertips, inhale, 
Slap them forward as you round forward and exhale. Invite the thigh bone to the sand. Breathe in. Slap the fingertips back towards your hips. Lift up. Maybe the chest roll forward and the shoulders roll back. Exhale, going forward with the crown of the head, round forward. Now really gentle, really feeling the body here. And then again, fingertips towards your pelvis, maybe a bit back of the pelvis this time, rolling the shoulders back, up and the collarbones, up in the chest, forward. And forward into the shape. Feet are active. Can you go a little bit further? Fingertips reach, arms reach, forehead down, up in the thigh bone, plug them down, breathe in and stay, breathe out. Two more slow breath here. As you're forward with your hands and your head, please keep sending the pelvis back to open your pelvis, your sacrum, your lower back. And then simply sliding back up, roll on up to an upright spine. Leg, take the left hand up and over. And catch a hold of your right ear. Very simply, keep the right fingertips down, left ear to your left shoulder. So we are awakening the right part of your neck. You can close your eyes here, breathe in. Go a little bit further, just into the neck bend. Continue to extend your right fingertips down onto the floor. And keeping your um, bend here, you're going to let your nose drop down towards your left pec. All the way to the shoulder and the nose lifting up towards the sky. Drop. A few times like that, the slower the better if you can. Beautiful. Coming back to the center, release your left hand. Take your left hand down to the floor this time. We're going to lift out of the left waistline and go all the way to the left side. Right arm takes you there. So this is really an awakening stretch. Right hip down, right fingertips up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right hip down, right fingertips up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Side stretch, one more breath. Good, begin to lift on your left waistline. Hover the left hand and let your two hands match. Release and extend your legs forward. So I have quite a bit of range here and I can go towards my toes and my hands touch my toes. If that's not you, it's okay. You just bend your legs and you're just reaching for your toes. So with your thumbs and index, you're gonna press your um, the top of the feet down. A little massage, yeah. So just creating a little bit of warmth. I go around my ankles, back to the feet. Pressing in between the toes. And then flex the toes towards you. If you cannot do that with leg stretch, you just open your legs and that will help you do that. And just to finish, thumbs inside the arches of your feet. Rub the inside. Going up. Beautiful. And then simply going to the other side. So this time the left leg is in front in a square shape. I really rock 
my way to it. As I rock, I let my feet align with my knees. Notice how the feet are um, sharp and they're perpendicular to the ground. Inhale. And slap your fingertips forward, crown of the head reaches over you towards the front of your space. Spinal activation. Flat your fingertips back towards your hips, breathe in. Head is the last thing to arrive, pushing up to the sky. Forward. Again, breathe in, activate your feet. And come forward, pressing the thigh bones down and go further now. You want to feel like you're doing down dog with your arms, pressing the fingertips down, but send your arms back, your pelvis back, dropping your head down. Observe three breaths here. Yeah, beautiful, and then slowly rise on back up. And take that right hand this time up and over to the left side of your face. Keep the left fingertips down and breathe in. And to stretch. Drop that right shoulder. And again, there's an intention. Left fingertips go down right ear to the right shoulder you see i close my eyes a lot in the practice because i really want to tune in to what's happening inside of me especially being aware of my breath throughout the practice throughout the day the mind wanders off jumps from one thing to the other we want to discipline the mind to be sharp and one pointed we practice that on the mat following the breath having our end attention to the breath you're going to keep going with that right hand until the right fingertips touch ground a little bit of a lift on your right side waist as you take your left hand up and over for a side stretch. So I don't let my arm here be inactive. There is life. There is a beautiful line that I'm drawing from my left hip to the left fingertips. Soften your rib cage, extend. more breath and you're gonna lift onto the right side take your right hand to match and come back up big breath in interlace your hands and push them up to the sky breathe out really easy and take your weight to hands and knees soft movement across the pelvis here Plug your hands down, curl the toes under, begin to hover your knees off the floor. Press your shoulders up away from your hands and your hands as your hands really plug down. See so sit bones start to roll to the, to the sky and slowly press on into downward facing dog. Very simply here, we're gonna take the, uh, a bend in the right leg to extend your left leg. Your left heel doesn't have to touch. You want to plug your left hand down, extend your left shoulder away from the hand, and continue that extension as you lift the left hip away from the left shoulder. Drop your head, please. Yeah. Extend. Left knee bends generously and the right leg extends. Pressing on the right hand to elevate, elevate your right shoulder, to elevate your right hip. Last breath in. 
Complete exhale. Coming back to two feet, spreading your toes in the balls of your feet. Lift the right leg to the sky, inhale the breath. Press your hands, bend your left knee. Make sure that your hips are stacked. They are, uh, sorry, they're not stacked, they are uh, even. And using your right glute, see if you can lift the right leg a little higher. Breathe in. Right knee comes in towards your chest, shoulders over the hands, dom your upper back. Back and up, right leg to sky, inhale. Knee to your chest, exhale. One more time like that, right leg up, breathe in. Push with your hands, draw your knee into your chest, dom your back, look forward and plant the foot forward. Drop in the left knee down. Take your right hand to your sacrum, slide it down, and then slowly come on up to roll the spine into a straight-ish spine. <sighs> I always think of the connection between my coccyx and my third eye. So I want a lot of space there. Interlace the hands, place them onto the, th the top of your right thigh. We go forward into Anjanyasana in the legs. Release your back leg if you want. Don't drop here. There's a lengthening for sure. You want to pick up the pelvic floor. Press the shoulders away, up in the front body, inhale. And then send the pelvis over the left knee. Tuck the tailbone under, pull on the left belly and draw your nose in towards your heart. Same thing, inhale, Anjanyasana, push off through the heart to the sky. Exhale, tuck of the tailbone, tuck of the nose under, round your back, but you concentrate on that left hip flexor. One more time, inhale forward, and exhale back. And next time, inhale, planting the hands forward, curl the back leg under, look forward and step forward to the top of the mat. Hands to the shins, halfway lift, breathe in. Fold over your legs, breathe out. Then into the knees, roll up into standing, take your arms up over your head, breathe in. Hands to your heart, breathe out. Again, tailbone in your head, tailbone down, arms out, breathe in. Bend your knees, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step of the left leg to the back. Hands under the, underneath your shoulders, come onto the fingertips. Push up, lift your right toes, lift your right heel, place the foot back, flatten your hands, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Ripple forward into a high plank, shoulders over your hands, breathe in. Drop your knees and the pelvis down, belly down, exhale. A little cobra, inhale, press the top of the feet down. Use the muscles around your back to lift. Take it to child's pose, exhale. Forward into tabletop, breathe in. Seat bones lead the way, downward facing dog, breathe out. Establish your dog, find your breath. No rush. And if we are already rushing our practice of yoga, what else are we rushing during the day? Left leg extends fast to the back, soften the right knee, engage your left glute, lift the left leg higher, draw the front ribs in, breathe in, left knee in, left foot through your hands, back and up, inhale, left leg up, left knee to your chest, one more time, left leg to sky, and plant the foot in between your hands this time. 
Right knee down. Take your left hand sacrum lengthens. Come on up. And then fingertips interlace. You can take the other interlace. Sometimes it's hard to find the other interlace. Pelvis forward. Tailbone reach forward. So there is always this little tuck under of the tailbone. You know the way Michael Jackson used to dance? It's a bit of the same thing here. And then push away, inhale. And exhale, tuck it under. Slow, inhale. Mm, tuck it under, exhale. Feel the right belly pulling in. One more time. And the more you draw the nose in, the more you pull that belly. As if you there is a treasure in your right hip. And you try to lift it up towards your right rib catch. The more sensation. Release that, plant the hands through the floor, tuck the back toes under, breathe in. We step forward to the top of the mat, breathe out. A half lift, inhale. A fold, exhale. Rise up to standing, arms over your head. Hands to the heart, tailbone lengthens down. One more time, arms up, breathe in. Take it down to ground, exhale. Halfway lift. Step with the right leg far to the back of the space. You're on your fingertips. Here, note that you don't want the fingertips to go down. You really want to have cup hands. Push. Left toes lift. Left heel lift if you can. And then place it back down with facing to flatten your hands. Inhale, forward into a high plank. And to the ground, breathe out. Cool brown, maybe go a little higher this time. Keep the pelvis down, shoulders back, heart forward. Keep the head in alignment. So you've done a lot of work for a long spine. Now don't go and break that with your neck back. Offer oh, the heart. The heart is lifting. The heart is leading the way. And then press into your knees, child's pose. Relax here, rolling the head around. And then tabletop on your next inhale. Walk your knees more forward. Cross your um, shins and come back to sit. Sitting uh, comfortably on your cushion, block, whatever you've got. Closing the eyes. And for a moment, just observe. Any difference with the beginning of your practice? Are you, what are you now carrying inside of you? Is it different? And we conclude our practice to Really sharpen the mind, clear out any last residues of thoughts from the night. And clear out the lungs from any extra dioxide carbon, which in turn really helps to find spaciousness in the mind. So it's Kapilabhati. It cleanses also the respiratory system, tones the belly. So I'll do it once just to show you if you're not familiar with this breath. Really pumping from this lower belly. So I have my hand here around my navel and the navel is the upper part. Really below is, is interesting. 
Um, if you are pregnant, you think you might be pregnant, or you're on the first day of your period, I advise you not to do this breath. You can, you can finish the practice with Surya Beda, which we've done earlier. Inhale, right nostril. Hold at the top, exhale, left nostril. You can do that a few times. If you're doing Kapil Bhakti with me, you'll take a breath in to inflate the belly and then pump in. So I exhale and the inhale is automatic. It will come in through your nose. The mouth stays closed, but no sans uh, crispé, no clenching of the jaw. We'll do a nice slow rhythm for 11 pulses. On the last exhale, observe a bit of a suspension after the exhale when there is no breath. Inhale and begin. Exhale. I like to observe the return of the inhale after the pause. It's quite spacious and nice. So second round, we're going to keep doing this, but now adding on Uddiyana Bandha. So I push my belly in, and then I draw it completely in vacuum seal, as if my navel is going into my di diaphragm. Breathe in. And the last exhale will look like this. I hold as long as I want with that strain. And then I release the bandha. I let the breath return. Okay. So two more rounds of Kapvati now with Uddiyana Bandha. 11 pulses, I'll indicate the last exhale, exhale completely, do the vacuum seal over the belly, hold without any strain, if you can, pelvic floor, lift and the chin down, and then release, okay, inhale, begin. cleansing toxins come out of the lungs you may need to also blow your nose that's part of it we'll do just last time one more time breathe in capilla back to you exhale So the breath traveling up and down the spine effortlessly. Mm. And stay as long as you want. You can now find a few moments to meditate, you've definitely prepared for your mind and your body to meditate. You're ready for 
a bright day of work or home work, housework, whatever you get up to today. Your body's ready, your mind is ready. Thank yourself. And now back to with you. I thank you for practicing with me. Om Shanti. Have an awesome day. If you have questions, please reach out. And I look forward to sharing a practice with you next time.